You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. And uh, with us, we have Dr. Austin Davis. Dr. Davis, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Now, you brought a lot of photos, so we'll, we'll get to as many of those as possible. Now, for people that don't know your practice, I mean, you kind of focus on implant dentistry. Who's the typical patient that's getting implants these days? So we have two types of patients we typically see. Uh, the first type is going to be the patient, um, they haven't been to the dentist, you know, maybe 10, 15 years, it's been quite a while. Okay. Uh, they've put, been putting it off for a long time. Um, and so these patients, you know, they have missing teeth, they have broken teeth over the years, um, they've got infections, they're in a lot of pain, and they've just been putting it off, and so they finally come in and see me and they're looking for something, a whole new set of teeth to replace what they have. Okay, and these patients come to us because uh, they don't want to head towards dentures, you know, they're concerned that that might be where they're going, and they want to know what other options they have. Okay. So the second group is uh, current denture wearers. And they, they have no idea they can walk in and the same day walk out with a new set of teeth that are fixed in their mouth. They can eat whatever they want okay. and they're happy. Now, you, you know, and, and we talk, look, you're a young looking guy. You've been practicing for quite some time, more than five years. And you do more, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I mean, you do more dental implant placement and giving people brand new set of teeth. You do more in a month, we talked about at the break, than most dentists are gonna do in a year. That's, That's correct. I mean, you're one of the busiest guys out there. That's correct. Um, so in a month, you know, most dentists, they focus their practice on a variety of procedures. They're doing fillings and crowns and cleanings. I only do one thing. Um, every day uh, at our practice, we do dental implants. And so in a month, um, you know, I'll place more dental implants than most people will place in a year or uh, even in their so whole So where year. you are, are, are there a lot of people wearing dentures or headed to dentures? I mean, is it, how big of a problem is it? So just in Memphis alone, there's tens of thousands of people currently wearing dentures and tens of thousands more that are heading towards dentures. Uh, you probably know quite a few people that either have dentures or will be getting dentures soon and you just don't even realize it because they're either hiding their smile or they're not confident enough um, to really smile and talk with their, with their teeth showing. So if there's that many people that are either upper or lower denture or headed to dentures, why aren't they all coming in to do this? What's your take on that? So there's a few reasons they're not coming in to do this. The biggest reason is they just don't know it exists. Okay. Um, they have no idea. So they got their dentures, say, 10 years ago, and they have no idea. They don't go back to the dentist, and they don't know what's available to them. So nobody's even telling them to do it. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So the second reason all these people don't come in is they're tired of seeing the dentist. They got their teeth out uh, years ago, and they're happy to not have to go back to the dentist. Plus, it was a lot of money, obviously, losing right. teeth. No, oh, absolutely. And so they're used to going in time here time there to get a root canal crown and and they're so happy to be done with that they just don't go back in and see the dentist to we, see what is available we talked in the green room and you said i'd love to see more denture wares you say because you could almost i'm paraphrasing you but you say you could almost help them the most but it's tough to get them in mm -hmm. elaborate on yeah that. so i'd love to see more denture wares because i know how much i can really help them uh it, it makes me excited to know that i can help them and i just need them to come and see me so i can help them you know they can come in one day and the next day they can be leaving with a fixed set of new teeth that they can eat with, they can smile with, that they're happy with and comfortable with, and not only eat, but they can eat what they want, uh, okay. not just what they can. Now, it, at your office, I guess you have this all under one roof concept where typically how implants are done, correct me if I'm wrong, you go to one place where they do the surgery, then you go to another place where they put the teeth on top and oftentimes to another place to get them maintained. You do it all right there. Is that why you're able to do it faster? That's most. correct. So we have everything in one place. So like you were saying, uh, the typical way to do it is, you know, you're going to end up going to multiple different offices. You're working with multiple different people and it's, uh, it's not easy to coordinate it all. Um, whereas when you come and see me, we do it all. So we have, um, we have the lab in our office. So we're able to make the teeth. We're able to see you um, and see exactly what your teeth need to look like uh, at the end and be able to get you to that place much faster than you could uh, you know, going somewhere good, else. Good, good. This isn't a recognized specialty, right, right. In, in dentistry, but you, this is your focus, this is all you do. That's correct. And, uh, and some people, it's like your goal, you say you wanna be the, like the go-to person in the state yeah. for implant dentistry. Are people traveling now to see you? People are, people travel from states all around, not just in Tennessee, but we have people coming from Mississippi, Arkansas, Missouri, Indiana, um, you know, really uh, all over the southeast and even farther coming to see us. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot here because, you know, this whole teeth in a day concept, you say it's real. I mean, if everything works out, somebody watching this, the day after tomorrow, they'll have their brand new teeth. 
That's right. Is that possible? I mean, has that ever happened? Where you could do a turnaround in a couple of days? Absolutely, yeah. That is. Um, we've had people, I had someone come from Indiana pretty recently. He flew in, he saw me the first day. The next day, we were uh, doing the implants, and that same day, he got a new set of teeth. Okay, now, I tried to challenge you in the green room. I said, <laughs> yeah, but it's really three appointments. I mean, you got the consult, then you got the surgery, and then you get the teeth, and you corrected me and say, no, we can literally do this in two visits. Yeah, we can do it in two visits. And, you know, the reason it's possible is we do it all in our office. Um, and we, with having the lab, with having me doing all the work, uh, we're able to do it all in one office. And so that's how we're able to do it so much more quickly. And then. Okay, good. People. You brought photos. What are we looking at? Yeah, so here's some photos I got for you. Okay, so this patient came to me, and they're, what they wanted to do is they wanted to be able to eat better. Okay. And looking at these teeth, uh, there was not really much I could do besides take the teeth out and start over with a clean slate of new teeth. Okay. Um, she was concerned about getting a denture. She knew she wouldn't be able to eat good with a denture. So she didn't want a denture. And so that wasn't an option Did for they her. say it? Did they say, Dr. Davis, I don't want a denture? Absolutely. She wanted to be able to eat, and she's okay. not going to be able to eat. She, she loves to cook. She loves to cook. And she wanted to be able to eat uh, some good home cooking. And she, she's not going to be able to eat whatever she wants with a denture. She'll be able to eat, but not what she wants. And so that was her goal. And so uh, we told her we could make that happen for her. So what we did with her is we gave her a brand new set of teeth on the top, brand new set of teeth on the bottom that are fixed in there permanently and she can eat whatever she wants with them. Let's take a look at that after. All right, so after, this is what we got. And so not only- <laughs> Looks good, she not, looks happy, that's for sure. That's right, so not only did we get her eating whatever she wanted, the you know secondary outcome was she got a great smile and she was able to show her personality and show, you know, she was a uh, even more warm and inviting person. So look at the before teeth, you know, she wasn't, she didn't get there overnight. That was a, a period of years and years of uh, eating getting more and more difficult for her. Um, and so if she would have done this years ago, she would have been able to enjoy her, her home cooked food for uh, many more years, but now she can enjoy it for the rest of her life. Now when they see their, themselves in the mirror for the first time, what's their reaction? Their reaction, their reaction varies from uh, you know pure excitement to almost emotional, um, okay. because they're able to to finally see themselves. Uh, you know, they can show themselves to other people the way they see themselves. They can show their warm personality. They can show their smile and their confidence. Uh, you know, they don't have to be more closed off and reserved and solemn because that's not who they are. Most people aren't like that. Okay, so this makes me think about one patient I had, and he came in to me, and uh, he seemed like a very solemn, um, you know, very serious man. Uh, and so we ended up uh, getting him new top and bottom teeth and it was amazing once you know he got those new teeth it wasn't instant but the next time I saw him and the next time I saw him over and over again uh, we became friends and okay. I noticed a change in his personality he started smiling more uh, he seemed warmer um, and you know we, we uh, we're buddies before, but really after, it was like I was able to see uh, who he truly was and he's able to really show his personality. That's good. Now, is it true, I mean, if you've been wearing a denture, let's say 10 years, you don't have enough bone to do this. So I hear that all the time and it's just simply not true. You know, they may have heard that at one specific office and it may have been true for that office. Uh, but here, you know, almost every patient that comes in to see us, we are able to give them implants and give them new teeth. Uh, have you ever had to turn anybody away and say, you just don't have enough bone? There's nothing we could do. There's pretty much always something that we can do to uh, give them a better smile or be able to help them eat better. Uh, so there's no situations in which we can't help someone. So it's not an exaggeration. Somebody watching this with no teeth mm -hmm. or teeth that are just really bad, that the day after tomorrow of watching this, they could potentially have brand new teeth that don't come in and out. Is That's that right? right. That is right. And, you know, some people might question this because they've been, you know, they've heard that implants take six months or implants take a year and all this. And, and that used to be true. Okay. Um, but with the way we do things now and the way I do things uh, specifically, we're able to do it all in one day. So you're able to okay. get implants and new teeth in that day and not have to go through these really long waiting periods. Um, How old can you be to get, like, what's your oldest patient that gets, that, that got this procedure? Dental so implants. I've done plenty of implants on people in their 90s before. Really? And yes. And why you would know, a 90-year-old want to do this? When you're 90, you know, one of the biggest things you do is you eat meals with people that you enjoy. Okay. And you know, you don't want to be embarrassed to your smile. You don't want to be turning down going out to lunch with your friends or having to hide your, uh, you know, not not being able to eat what you want because of your teeth. So 80 years old is young. 80 years so old like, is young. Absolutely. But do you ever hear from patients? I don't know. I'm too old for this. Do you hear that? That's a very common thing I hear. I hear, uh, I'm too old or I don't have enough bone, and both those just simply aren't true. 
Um, okay. We do plenty of implants on people in their 80s, and it, it really changes their life. So you're doing this on your grandmother, 91 years old. That's right, I am. And, you know, she, she just brought this up recently, Jamie. It was something she, she thought she was going to have to get dentures. And she had no idea, you know, my own grandmother okay. had no idea that this was even possible. And there's so many people out there that are like that. They don't know that it's possible and they don't want dentures. And so she's been waiting and waiting, trying to avoid dentures. When in reality, I could have helped her uh, years ago. So what about people that are in their 90s that have a little bit of, you know, type 2 diabetes that's controlled or they're on maybe three or four or five medications? Can they do it? Yeah, so typically if you're in your 80s or 90s or even much younger, you're on multiple medications and that's something we see every day. Uh, and it is a common objection. People think that that might be a problem, but it, it really is And isn't. if you have to talk to their medical doctor, you will. That's, a, that's Does that ever happen? Right. Yes, yes, sometimes I need to. And if that's the case, uh, we handle it for you and we'll coordinate that. And it's, it's not something you need to worry about. Now, it's, and what you do is computerize. When you say things like, well, I do the surgery on a computer first, what does that mean? Yeah, so I plan your entire surgery on a computer before I ever even do it um, in your mouth. And so I'm able to really have a picture in my mind of exactly what's going to happen. Uh, and then, you know, what gets planned happens perfectly in the mouth because it was planned beforehand. Okay, now you have more photos. What else yes. are we looking at? Here is someone that came to see me. And as you can see. Wow. Uh, they That's got to be unusual. It's not unusual. Um, I see that uh, almost every single day. I see someone in a very similar situation. And you, you think it's unusual, right? Because yeah. someone like that isn't uh, smiling. Um, they're not showing their teeth. And so they're, you know, you may think that's a more serious person because he's not showing his teeth. Other people, he's not smiling. So they're hiding their teeth. So that's right. interesting. Do they ever say, Doc, this is the worst you've ever seen? I hear that all the time. Um, and it's never the worst I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> so what are, so a guy like this comes in, what are his options? Typically people think that their options are to get dentures, you know, to get their teeth out and get traditional dentures. Um, but that's not the case. Uh, you know, implants are a much better option to get new teeth to where they don't come in and out to where you can eat what you want, like steak and peanuts and a salad or whatever it is you may want. And it's something that you can uh, be confident in your smile. You're not worried about them falling out or moving around or using adhesive. Uh, you know, they're in there like your, like your old teeth were. So with him, we were able to really clean up what he had going on with the broken teeth and the infection. We cleaned it all up. Um, we did the implants the same day. And the same day, he walked out with a new set of teeth. Um, so here he is once he was all finished. And this is one of my oh favorite my before and afters. It's uh, dramatic. It, it's quite the change um, in everything about him. Uh, he just looks happier. He looks more confident. Um, and he just looks like a whole new person. So would you say he looks more handsome in the after picture? That's right? for sure. Yes. In fact, he looks a lot younger in the after. That's why it's somewhat startling to look at the before and after. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, I told you, I said, it's just teeth. It's like, do you feel like strangling somebody when they say that, right? You're in the business. But uh, yeah, it's interesting how teeth have made the difference. Yeah, and teeth can make all the difference. You know, it's not, they're not just used for, for eating. They're used for communicating with other people. It's one of the first things that someone's going to notice about you um, is your smile. And so are you communicating that you're a, a warm person or a, a handsome person or, uh, you know, are you a fun-loving person or are you communicating that you're more solemn or serious? Um, or maybe don't like to have fun. Uh, and that's one of the first things that people see. So what do they like more, the way it looks or what they could eat? So usually people have one or the other that's their priority, how it looks or they want to be able to eat better. This particular patient, he came in and he wanted to be able to eat better. He was actually a weightlifter. He loved um, going to his gym, lifting weights. And so he wanted to be able to eat uh, things like steak and, and things that are high in protein. Okay. Um, and to be able to get the nutrients he needs for uh, his hobby, which was weightlifting. Um, so not only was he able to do that, as you can see, you know, he, uh, uh, we, we really changed his whole appearance just with his smile. And he can eat whatever he wants. That's right. He can eat it whatever he wants. But I guarantee, you know, more than eating, he really loves the appearance. And that wasn't his goal coming in. But I know for a fact that he's happy after he got it done. And so some people come in and they're wanting to, um, they're really just concerned with the looks of their teeth. They want a better smile. They want more confidence in their smile. Uh, and so kind of the reverse is true where they get the new smile they want, but then they realize they're able to eat. And so when they go out to eat, they don't just have to choose on the menu, you know, what they can eat. They're able to eat what they want to eat and they're able to enjoy a meal with a friend, uh, or on a date or with their kids or whoever, without being self-conscious about what they were. Is this true? Now, do husband and wives do this together or partner, you know, relationships, like one does it first and the second one does it? 
Absolutely. I actually uh, have a particular husband and wife that I remember. Uh, the husband came in, and, and he was the one that did it first. Um, like the guinea pig, in a way. That's right. <laughs> okay. He tested it out, um, and he was so happy that the following year, his wife came in, and she had it done. Um, and she, in particular, is really concerned. She thought the only option she had was dentures, and she had just been holding off for years and years, um, unable to smile, unable to eat, and she was really just waiting because she thought she was going to have to get dentures. And she had actually been told, you know, there's no way she could get implants because she didn't have enough bone. Uh, and today, you know, she's walking around and she has a, a full set of teeth that are not dentures, they're um, implants, and she's able to eat whatever she wants and smile, and she's happy. On the consult, they're telling you their sad story, right? Because they're about to lose all their teeth. Do you ever get excited going, boy, they don't know how good this is going to be when I'm done with them? Absolutely. You know, so many people don't know what is possible. Uh, and when I hear a story or when I hear a concern, um, I, I do get excited because I know that I can help uh, these people to get to somewhere better than they thought they could. So I'm even surprised sometimes about how much of a change it can really make in someone's just whole demeanor and their personality just with a new smile. It's incredible. Okay, good. What else you got here? All right, so this next one here uh, is someone who, who their primary goal was they wanted to be able to smile better. Um, so, you know, he had a lot of stuff going on with his teeth. Uh, they were hurting. He actually had a, a bridge of teeth across the front there that came in and out. Um, and his teeth were loose. They were infected and they were hurting him. And uh, he absolutely did not want dentures. He knew that coming in. He knew that from uh, the very moment we started talking. Um, and so, you know, he was kind of skeptical about what could he do. He knew a little bit about implants, but he didn't really, he, he was kind of skeptical. Could we really do this in one day? Um, and yes, we were able to do it in one day. Here is uh, the new teeth he ended up with. He got that new <laughs> smile. That's nice. Uh, and you can see he looks like a whole new person. The first picture there, you know, he's kind of grimacing, showing his teeth a little bit. The second picture, he's got a happy, relaxed, you know, natural smile. Um, and so that was all we were able to do that uh, in one day. Yeah, they look real. And I don't think people are noticing that they're not real, right? That's right. And if you look there, you know, you can see how before, um, you know, he kind of had some black spaces to the sides of his teeth here. And you see after, um, the smile really follows his lips the way. And that didn't just happen by accident. Okay. Uh, you know, that happened with uh, uh, us being able to work with him and get his smile exactly what he needs to be for his face, for his face structure and for his smile. So you actually have like a lab right there on site at your center, like making the teeth right there? We do. And that's how we're able to get results like that. Uh, because usually labs are, um, you know, not only in a different location, they're often in another state. And so, you know, you can take a picture, you can do things, but there's nothing like being able to have uh, the lab tech be able to come into the room and look at the teeth and look at the smile uh, so we can really plan it out the way it needs to be. So let me show you this next patient. All right. Here's someone, uh, he came in with his wife and he wanted one thing and his wife wanted another. He wanted to be able to eat. He wanted to be able to eat a good steak. Uh, and his wife wanted him to be able to smile better. Okay. Um, so I told him we could do both. Uh, you know, he, he didn't want dentures because he wanted to be able to eat So better. those teeth, you couldn't save those? Those, no, we couldn't save those. He had very few of them left. Uh, he actually had a partial on the bottom teeth. And as you can see on the top, he only had a few left. Um, and they were loose. They were infected and they had problems. And so... So his wife drags him in. His wife drags him in. Because <laughs> uh, men put things off, right? Oh, absolutely. He'd been putting it off for probably 15 years. Um, so his wife drags him in and, you know, like I was saying, all he wanted to do is be able to eat. Well, this is where uh, we got him to. And so I think they were both happy. He was able to eat and uh, his wife was really happy. She was the one, uh, you know, a lot of times the, the patient themselves gets emotional when they see their new smile. Well, this in this case, they were both emotional. But the wife was the one that was really excited about the new so smile. So these teeth don't come out. I mean, these are fixed in their permanent teeth. Those teeth are fixed in there permanently. They don't come out. Um, you can eat with them. Uh, you can sleep with them. You can do whatever you want because they don't come in and out. You know, you, you know, one of the things you were saying that teeth make a difference as far as your overall appearance. But I think of before, like in before, he looks like a tough guy. In the after, he just looks like a regular nice guy, right? That's right. Somebody you ought to talk to. Yeah, it's amazing how uh, big of a difference they can make. It kind of makes me think about another patient I had. Um, she was someone, uh, she actually had a local, um, local TV show. And okay. it's something she really, really enjoyed. She was really passionate about, but she was always kind of trying to stifle her smile. She had a really big, wide smile, um, but she was always kind of trying to control it. Like um, hiding it a little bit? Hiding it a little okay. bit. Okay. And uh, so she was, um, she came to see me and that was, that was what she wanted to do is she wanted to get a big, wide, bright smile that she was confident in. Um, 
And so we were able to give that to her. And not only uh, did it make her more confident, but it made her better at her job because she was able to really let her personality show and let her full big smile out so she wasn't always trying to hide it. Is that a person also that would have had to have a denture? Like Absolutely. you couldn't save her teeth? Absolutely, and she and she knew that, and so she knew she would not be confident um, being on camera. You know, constantly worried about having a denture, and are people going to be able to notice, or are they going to be able to see it moving, um, or am I going to have to, you know, take a break uh, in between shows or whatever, and go and put more adhesive um, glue in my in my denture in the bathroom? Um, so yeah, she was she was really happy. Now we need to mention even the best dental insurance does not cover implant dentistry, just a small portion. Medicare, Medicaid doesn't cover it at all. Yeah, but Randy, they, they're financing it every single day and we have uh, someone daily that's dedicated to helping these people financing it and helping make it affordable for, okay. for anyone. So you're not carrying it. I mean, they have to be decent. You have what, lenders that you work with with decent that's credit correct. that can do so it. So you need decent credit to do it, um, but pretty much every single day we're, we're working with people to get this done. And you say you're less than the big guys. That means that, that <laughs> uh, you know, because you, you're one of the people that aren't afraid to post prices and things like that, mm -hmm. but you're a little bit less. Mm -hmm. How are you able to do it? So we're able to do it less uh, because we do everything in one office. Okay. Um, so it's all taken care of in one place and because it's the only thing we do. Uh, a lot of places, um, they either have a wide variety of services so they're not narrowly focused on one thing. Um, so it's not easy for them to do something like this. Um, and also, okay. you know, uh, other big places, they have uh, a lot of other people that need to be paid on top of paying the doctor. So one doctor, one fee kind of allows you to do that. That's right. Okay, good. And sedation. We haven't talked about sedation, but most of these people probably a little anxious about the procedure and they are lightly sedated. That's normal. You know, it's normal to be anxious about something like this because, it, because it's so unknown, right? People don't know what to expect. Um, but, you know, the night before, sometimes we'll give them a little pill to help them relax. And then the day oh, really? of... really? A pill the night before? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, to help them relax, get the nerves out. Uh, and the day of, you know, they're going to come in and uh, they're going to be completely numb. So they're not going to have any pain at all during the procedure. And okay. most of the times they don't even remember much of much of what happened. You know, the day goes by, by really quick and uh, they get their new teeth and, and they're happy they have it done. And then another thing is, is they are concerned about pain sometimes. Um, but almost everyone's always surprised by how little pain there is involved afterwards. You know, I told you my father had the procedure. He's mm -hmm. 85, he has upper lower teeth that don't come out, supported by implants, and he said it didn't hurt at all. Now he exaggerates about everything, but he emphasized to me, people need to know it doesn't really hurt that much. So you hear that a lot. Yeah, I hear that um, with almost every single one. They're just so surprised. They had it worked up in their mind that it was gonna be, oh, this horrible, long, painful process, and everyone's so surprised by how little pain there is after. Okay, good. Time for maybe one or two more. Okay. Let's see. So here's another one. Uh, this guy thought that he was going to have to be wearing a denture, and he actually came in expecting, you know, he was going to have to get some dentures. And that's common to have teeth like this? It is. It's common. Uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, there's so many people that have teeth like that, and you have no idea because they're hiding them. Okay. Um, they're changing the way they talk, and they're changing the way they interact with you because they're embarrassed. Uh, so, you know, as you can see, missing teeth, again, broken teeth, loose teeth, uh, painful teeth. His options? His options. He thought his only option was getting dentures. Um, and I was actually, I started talking about what we could do. Um, and, and I could just see his face lighting up <laughs> because he realized, you know, maybe I don't have to get a denture. Um, and so after talking to him, you know, he actually came uh, from Arkansas. And that day he decided, you know, he was ready to do it. Uh, we got everything ready for him. Following day, he got a new set of teeth. Top and bottom, these are his new teeth. Uh, they are not dentures. Um, they are a new set of implant teeth that, that don't come in and out. And he, he was really happy that he came and, and saw me and realized that he didn't have to get dentures. Now, what about maintenance, things like that? They're, they're brushing them just like regular teeth, going in for checkups every six months. How does it work? That's right. So they're brushing them just like their regular teeth. Uh, they're using a, a water pick, which is like a power washer for them. Um, and they come in every six months to see me just to check up, um, you know, make sure everything's doing okay. So a lot of patients like this dreaded coming to the dentist before because they were worried, you know, what, what filling am I going to need this time or what root canal am I going to need? Um, and now, you know, these people can look forward to coming to the dentist because it's a really easy appointment. They're just getting checked up, a quick cleaning. Um, they're not getting cavities. Uh, they're not having to worry about, you know, what's, what is it going to be this time? So most people wait too long. You say they hold on to their teeth too long. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? So they hold on to their teeth too long, usually because they think that they're going to have to get dentures and they don't want dentures. Um, so they wait So they and go wait like and many wait. years with many bad years. teeth and not being able to eat. 
Yeah, that's right. And there's no reason to do that because there are options other than dentures. Do you think this is the future of dentistry? Like 10 years, 20 years from now, dentures as we know them will be gone? Absolutely, yeah. I think it's going more and more in that direction. And, you know, there's uh, people like me that are, are leading the charge to where, you know, there's no reason for people to have a big piece of plastic in their mouth when this is available. So if a patient, and we, we have about a minute and a half left. So a patient goes to you, they're currently wearing a denture or it's been established, you cannot save their teeth. What are their okay. options in your practice in regard to dental implants? So we have a variety of options for people, starting with as few as um, two implants to hold in a bottom denture. You know, some people that's, uh, that's what they need. Just snaps out? That's right, and some people that's what they need in their life at that particular time. Um, so, you know, it's a huge upgrade over a regular denture, um, but really, you know, uh, where we like to go is, is fixed, non-removable teeth yeah. uh, that don't come in and out. Now the upper denture though is pretty good, right? Because it has the suction. Mm, yeah, and so I hear that, and it's better than the bottom, uh, but it's, it's, it's just pretty good. You know, you got to wear uh, adhesive, you got glue, um, you can't taste your food because it's covering the roof of your mouth. Um, with implants, you know, you get rid of the adhesive, you can open up the roof of your mouth so you can taste better. So, you know, if you're a wine drinker or someone that really enjoys food, uh, you can't enjoy it to the same level when the whole roof of your mouth is covered because that's where a lot of your taste buds are. Okay. Um, so it's really hard to be able to really taste food um, while the roof of your mouth's covered. So that's, Do they notice a difference? Oh, they notice a big difference immediately. Uh, With you know, the flavors things, and mm -hmm. things? Things just taste better uh, and they're able to taste more, uh, more of what they like to eat. Do you think in your county you could, uh, are you optimistic where you could possibly wipe out dentures in the future? Like nobody's wearing a loose fitting denture? That would be a great future and that's what uh, one of my goals is, is for no one to be wearing dentures. Uh, like you said, no more dentures. We have so many better options than dentures now. Um, and that's what I'm working towards. So we're out of time. Final message, somebody watching this. There are the two categories you talked about. They have really bad teeth that cannot be saved and they're headed to the dentures or the denture wearers. Let's say they've heard what you had to say, but they're still skeptical for whatever reason. What do you say to them? Well, we'd love to just have you come on into the office and you can see us and our team uh, and see what we're about. You know, we, we offer a free consultation for um, this and that way you can just explore the options and see, you know, see if you're comfortable with us and see if you're comfortable with the process and learn about uh, what options you have available. Okay, and as far as pain, you say the downtime, it's not like something you really hear a lot about? Right, yeah. Nothing you, to be afraid of, really? Yeah, you know, you can do it at the end of one week, kind of take a weekend off and, and go back to work or, or whatever you may be doing the following week. Um, and that's what most people do. Okay, good. And you could do it in one day. Get that's a right. New set of teeth in one day. New set of teeth in one day. And, and like you seem like as, you almost don't believe that. Yeah, because uh, it's, it's like true. two appointments, really? <laughs> yeah, two appointments. First appointment, your consultation. Like I was just talking about, come and see us and meet us, uh, get to know us. And then the next appointment, um, even the very next day, you could be getting your new teeth. All right. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great stuff. Thanks thank for you for coming. having me. I enjoyed it. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.